2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive, affordable luxury done right. It's always a big ask to transfer all the virtues of larger, more expensive luxury vehicles to smaller, more affordable ones. The best example is the burgeoning luxury small crossover segment, where so many models disappoint because they just don't feel very luxurious, lacking the style, refinement, driving poise or features of other models and their company's range. So the 2019 Volvo XC40 is hugely refreshing because it actually does feel just as nice as Volvo's XC60 and XC90. Volvo describes the XC40 as a cousin to those models rather than a sibling because the new crossover is not simply a scaled-down version of the XC60 and XC90. The design brief was to build a tough little robot. A dorky but apt descriptor when you see the XC40's squat stance with the wheels pushed out to the far corners. The first car on Volvo's compact modular architecture, CMA, the XC40 is a not too compact 174.2 inches long and 65.0 tall, with a healthy 8.3 inches of ground clearance. A sharp clamshell hood starts off the top design, while the body sides are devoid of modern cars' usual shoulder lines and instead are accented by a light catcher at the bottom of the doors. The belt line kicks up sharply at the back of the rear windows, and there's a big spoiler above the otherwise relatively spartan liftgate. Variants on Volvo's Taurus Hammer LED running lights and L-shaped LED tail lights help identify the car from a distance in traffic. 2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive 2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive the first car on Volvo's compact modular architecture, the XC40 is a not too compact 174.2 inches long and 65.0 tall, with a healthy 8.3 inches of ground clearance. White the optional white roof on base models or the gloss black roof on our design trims, there's even more street presence. The only bum note is a small piece of plastic on the C-pillar. It's there to cover the paint transition between body and roof but it produces annoying lines that you can't unsee once you notice them. A little rubber Swedish flag sticking out from the hood shell line is a cute touch. It's only planned to be fitted to the first 5000 XC40S sold globally, although Volvo is considering whether to expand that if it proves a hit with customers. The flag was first implemented on the Volvo 40.1 concept that very, very closely previewed this production model's look. Volvo's interior designers have managed to balance practicality with fun inside the XC40. There are no speakers in the front doors, for instance, to provide more storage space, and carpeting covers the inner door trim, rather than just plastic, to prevent belongings from rattling. On the other end, you can option wild orange carpeting if your eyeballs are so brave. It's a roomy vehicle. My six-foot-tall co-driver has leg and headroom to spare in the back seats, and I would even be happy to sit in the middle rear space for short rides. The are design models available for my test drive look and feel expensive throughout, with contrast-stitched leather seats, aluminum dashboard trim, and switches that move with a precise click-click action. 2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive 2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive, it's a roomy vehicle. My six-foot-tall co-driver has leg and headroom to spare in the back seats, and I would even be happy to sit in the middle rear space for short rides. Most of the technologies and switch gear from the XC60 and XC90 trickle down to this model, meaning a full-color instrument cluster. It can show map directions or album art, for instance, and the super simple census touchscreen infotainment display. Climate controls and seat steering wheel heating are handled on the touchscreen, so there are only a few physical buttons on the clean center stack. Unlike in larger Volvo models, the engine start-stop button is on the dash by the steering wheel, not the center console. Sadly, this car also has Volvo's dorky electric shifter, which requires two nudges to move from park to drive, or from reverse to drive. Ingenious storage solutions abound. There are slots to hold parking or access cards to the left of the driver's knee, a parking stub holder on the windshield, a removable trash can in the center console, and a fold-out hook on the glove box door ideal for hanging a purse, small grocery bag, or your takeout order. The door pockets will hold a 15-inch laptop, my MacBook Pro fit easily, and an optional storage bin beneath the driver's seat is big enough for an iPad. The center console was specifically designed to fit a Kleenex box, and the space ahead of the shifter, which optionally houses a wireless charging pad, is larger even for even the biggest of modern smartphones. The XC40 is the first Volvo with wireless phone charging, but in another sign of the times, it does not have an auxiliary audio jack or CD player. There are some neat tricks for the trunk too, 
where an optional fold-up floor can be raised to create a barrier closer to the seat backs to keep grocery bags from wandering. It also has three hooks when raised for hanging more bags. It's also possible to stow the parcel shelf upside down underneath the trunk floor, which is far more convenient than having to stow it in the car or in your garage. 2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive 2019 Volvo XC40 First Drive most of the technologies and switchgear from the XC60 and XC90 trickle down to this model, meaning a full-color instrument cluster and the super simple Census touchscreen infotainment display. The cargo area is a roomy 20.7 cubic feet with the seats up, with them folded flat to the floor, that expands to 47.2 cubic feet. Volvo says there's almost 5.5 feet of distance from the front seat backs to the liftgate. Those cargo figures eclipse what you'll find in an Audi Q3 or Mercedes-Benz GLA 250, but are slightly behind what BMW offers in the X1. The launch model in the US is called T5. Volvo speak for a 2.0-liter turbo 4 engine, 8-speed automatic, and all-wheel drive. It's a stout little powertrain, with 248 horsepower and 258 pound-feet delivered without fuss. Fleet on its feet when you put your foot down, the XC40 is also cool and collected in the city. You'll rarely notice the transmission shifting, and power delivery is supremely linear. That said, there's a lot of noise and vibration when the engine kicks back on after a stop-start moment at a traffic light, and the turbo mill plays a grim monotone at all speeds. Though fortunately that fades into the background when cruising with the transmission in its top gears. Volvo officials warned that our test cars were the stiffest riding models, with the R-Design's upgraded springs and dampers and optional 20-inch wheels. Maybe it's the sheer flawlessness of Spain's roads, but the warning was totally unwarranted. With McPherson struts up front and a multi-link arrangement in back, the ride and handling mix is mature. The XC40 smooths out roads and doesn't get unsettled over the few rough patches of pavement on our drive loop. The momentum trim, on 18 or 19 inch wheels and its slightly gentler suspension tune, should be plenty plush. Though I'll reserve full judgment, as always, until trying the car on potholes strewn roads back home.